Hey, what's up everyone? So instead of responding to all the comments on the other video about why the chamfer was uh, messed up, I thought I'd just make a quick video on it because uh, it's a really dumb mistake. It's kind of funny and also I think it's important to share failures and mistakes on the internet because everything seems like everything's perfect. But anyways, this could have been all avoided if I had just put calipers on literally anything at any point. So here is one of the soft jaws and this direction is supposed to be 98 millimeters. And if you can see it's 1.52 millimeters over. And this direction is supposed to be 32 millimeters. And as you can see it is 1.52 millimeters over. So I don't know if you remember from the video, but I said this was a 3 and 8 inch end mill. Because we're in Canada, we say inches and metric. But when you measure this, well, that says 8 millimeters. So that is an 8 millimeter end mill. And I don't know if you know the difference between 3 8 and 8 millimeters but it's about 1.52 millimeters. So here's what happened. So I bought this kit, I bought a whole bunch of tools, end mills and everything, it's been amazing, a lot of new stuff. I bought it all together from one person. It's not really fully organized, uh, it's actually not organized at all. I need to inventory it all, which I really wanna do. But I picked up this thinking it's a 3 8 by 3 quarter length end mill. But that's not what it is. The top one is a 3 8 by 3 quarter inch end mill. The middle number is of course the shaft diameter. And if you notice on the lower one, it seems to be missing a 3 and a slash because it is an 8 millimeter. That's how dumb that was. So obviously all my parts were 0.75 millimeters on each end slightly bigger and then when the chamfer tool comes down it thinks it's centering on what it thought was a smaller tool and making a larger chamfer. Obviously it all makes sense and if I just had measured something along the way I would have figured that out. Well obviously I did figure it out after but after the video. And it's these little mistakes the first time is the time that you learn. So I'm going to run the process again with the correct, I'll run it with the eight millimeter tool because it's already in there, it's easier to change. And then we'll see if we get a proper chamfer on that. And I need to make another set anyways. All right, updated this. Turn the machine on. Install a new piece of stock. Zero all the axes. Set work height. Set X, Y, load the G-code, and I guess run it. All right, the last process, we're gonna do the chain for now. to me. Nice. Now if I measure these, they're exactly 98 millimeters.
It just looks so much better when they're done right. So there you go. I guess we uh, learned something. To read, I guess. I gotta fix all the leaks on this thing.